Hey folks, welcome back to Bonfire Peaks Lost Memories Part One. <laughs> I think I've, I think I'm getting that right every time. Um, yeah, we are doing pretty well. Last time we did a whole bunch of advanced puzzles. We, I think, last couple of times we only did advanced puzzles, right? Oh, I mean, are they advanced? Puzzles? They're just like off the, off at the sides. I think they're supposed to be like the more challenging puzzles, given the mechanics that have been introduced at that point along the main path. Um, that feels like the structure they're going for. But I've decided I'm going to come back and do some main path puzzles just because it's nice to have some variation. Should we do Fender Bender? Sure. Okay, horizontal arrows. <laughs> I called it. Last time I was like, uh, I wonder if we'll be combining um, upwards and horizontal arrows at the same time. What's going to happen then if they both fight? Like, oh, this is going to. This is just gonna work, isn't it? Like, is the timing just like slightly off? Hmm. What if the what if you are on top of you? Hmm. Wait, is that even a lined up? That's not even a lined up. Ah, so so what? Something's gonna fly up. But I do want something to fly horizontally. In fact, why is it not just enough to do this and send you that way? Oh, they do shoot. Wait, sometimes they shoot in a certain order. Huh, I swear a second ago, one shot, then the other shot. So maybe I stick two things together in such a way that when it lands over there, what's going to happen? Hmm. I don't want them to be stuck together because then they won't fall apart again. I mean, what's going to happen if I do this? Nothing, because they're not in the same row. What? Well, no, that's... I mean, I could do this, and then... Uh? Okay. Okay, I mean the timing is super weird, but yeah, okay, so it's that, but the other way around. Um, you go off at the top, like this. Oh gosh, the music just went very deep. Oh, um, 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 no. <laughs> Uh, can I do it like this? I get. I just, I just want to put you there. How do I do it? How do I do it? Well, if I put you on here, this feels like a very unnecessary way of doing it, but I think this will work. Ah, no! <laughs> Stay up there! <laughs> uh, okay, hold on. There's got to be a very simple way of me putting that there, and I'm just not seeing it. What is it? I walk up, I rotate somehow. I, like, I'd have to walk up one more step. Ooh, okay, idea. What if we put that on that, go up, pick you up. <laughs> Are we ever complicating this? Probably. I know exactly what I want to do. Is there just some way I could take this up and put it in the place that I want it to be? I need it one further down than this. Ah, okay, okay. I hold it from... Nope. Nope. This side, I step up onto the arrow and I drop it down like that. There we go. That's what I want. Then you go here and then you do this. Okay. <laughs> 
It's interesting that it sort of depends on timing, but like I know the timing will be just the number of spaces the thing is flying through, but still, <laughs> a little terrifying because I can't really count the number of spaces very easily. Well, I kind of can. Wait, the fire's under there? Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, we have arrows going in all directions. What's it called? Underfloor heating. <laughs> I think, I swear in the base game, the music didn't change in an individual level. It was like area-based music or something. I am so confused. How is something going that way? Oh, I guess. I guess it could. I could make a weird shape that allows me to like... Actually, maybe that's the entire thing here. It's like, because you could be stuck in another thing horizontally. What shape could I make? And how far would I have to dangle down? Like if I grab you from the top, then just be one further out. Yeah, I think I kind of see what could happen here. So how does this work if I... Okay, so you... I, you don't need to be blocked because you're just stopping against me. Okay. We do need something to get stuck with an arrow in the bottom of it, which needs to be one of the tall ones. But then we also need you. Okay, okay. Um, so you're going to get an arrow on the side of you. And then you are going to go here, and we're going to do this. Uh, oh, or not, because that flies, sends that away. Hold on. I guess I was going to stand there, but then if I'm standing there... Um, we've lost the upwards arrow, right? Yeah. Okay, how do I do the upwards arrow at the same time? I guess I'd stand here. Wait, why bother putting them there next to the thing? Just do this. So then they're not flying anywhere. Then I have nothing to worry about, right? Just do this. Yes, okay. Cool, and then that's gonna go in the top of that. Oh gosh, is that too high up now? Maybe. Uh, so maybe we do something else first. You have an arrow in the top and the, in the bottom of you. I want something... Okay, so I can do this. No, I can't until I move that off there. But then I can do that. Then I can just use these, and they're kind of safe because the arrow is just sticking out horizontally. And I, I think I actually want to do... Um, this? Yeah, because you're the one with the thing in the bottom of you. Uh, uh, oh, I heard the noise of it sliding in, but... Um, Wait, I, I, I don't stand on anything. I just need to walk. <laughs> just need to walk forwards. Yep. Then, I'm going to use this to put that in that one. Uh, uh. Yep. And then we're going to stick this one in here by doing this. Then we're going to rotate this around and try and hold on to that top bit somehow. How is that happening? Grab it as it falls. <laughs> uh, okay, there's something wrong here. But that shape would work, right? If I was holding the top bit, I could then slide it back that way. Hmm. I can't grab that from something on top of here, right? Still, it's too high up. Okay. Um. How am I planning to do this? Like, it sort of makes sense, but I can't grab this. I can't dangle it off the edge. Oh, except, could I do, what if this is like, oriented like this? And I do that. Then rotate somehow. Uh, uh, maybe if it all one foot over, and then I rotate like 
this? No? No, because of course the, the, the... A bit of it would be going through the floor after that rotation, so that's not going to work. But then, uh, the, the, this would? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> sure. Uh, let's do this one. Showdown. Okay, so they're pointing at each other. Is there, is there perhaps an arrow about to fire you up as well? There is, okay. Oh gosh, okay, so because it falls. If I stop you, but I guess I want you to come up. And I, I do have an upwards arrow, but it's, but it's under the box. Could I somehow... So I need that to not fall back down. What are these? These two singles? Yeah, okay. What do I even want here? I want it to not fall, I guess. But how's that ever going to happen? Huh? I guess if those arrows stuck into something, but they wouldn't. Uh, is there a reason this is next to this? This arrow shooter thing. Of course I can like do something like this. Ah. Like maybe I don't need the bottom arrow here at all. Okay, so if we do that, that side wins. But I can't do that on the other side because I can't get close enough to it. Wait, but what would happen in this situation? Um, yeah, it's like I want... Could I somehow prevent the one on the right from firing? No, it's so far away. Ah, but if it ends up in there and then it fires again, why doesn't it end up in there? Why doesn't the arrow stick in that belongings box? Why doesn't it? And then just wedge back in the... That one does. Okay. So why? It's like it's going inside the belongings. Okay, so why don't we try and just... Can we, like, stop the belongings from going anywhere? And just transfer you over to another side? Uh, possibly... But this doesn't work. Without losing the belongings. What about here? But then I'm in a state where it's an infinite loop. I guess... I guess I could potentially just get these back into their respective positions. And then they'll be floating. There we go. Um, so then I could send that back over there. Sure, I lose a box. That feels not terrible. That feels great. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Didn't know exactly where I was going. I was just trying to get the box over on this side. And that was enough. Cool. Well, it, it was already on this side. Trying to get it up and to the left. <laughs> Sweet. Hmm, shooting hoops. Okay, I'm gonna play some basketball. How low down is that? That's way down there. And the thing's gonna have to drop. We have a vertical. So, like if 
this for there. It's not gonna move unless... Unless it's attached to something like you. And then that hits the wall and they both drop in. Yeah, that could work. That actually kind of sounds pretty reasonable, doesn't it? Can I set that up? Can I get something to stick into this? I have to be holding it. Kind of movement, do what I need it to do. Like that kind of rotation. Uh. No. Oh, hold on, but I can also just like, there's, there's an archway above this. Okay, so before that went down, let's do this, that, uh, then stack some of these on top of each other, like this, like that. Uh, 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 this is how everybody plays basketball. Totally, ow. <laughs> totally normal basketball game. <laughs> um, so that's like almost good, except they die. I guess I could I have shot that arrow already? Mm, no. No. Could I be part of what's holding that box in? It's like I could be stood on top of it. Like if you were on there and I got on, if you were on there and I got on top of you. Yeah. Might be overcomplicating this. It just feels interesting. I could be there and then do something to get something onto the switch. No. But yeah, my other problem is going to be that that arrow fires. So let's deal with that problem. I can do this. I mean, I can just like put this here. As in, not there. Here, right? And that would be fine to fire. However, the other one's not fine to fire. Um, so how do I hold this here? Uh, oh, easy, easily, easily. I do this, that. Okay, that's good. Put this, uh, put this in you. Put this down there. Put this. Oh, uh, okay. Bring this back up. Do that. Get off here. There we go. There we go. And I guess the other block isn't necessary. I just do. Ooh, yes, yes it is. I don't want to go flying. I mean, I won't go flying. We can do that. Yay! Neat. Totally normal basketball. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, we only need one box here. And these are. Look how. All those steps are. That makes no sense. <laughs> Look at the leg flying up. Whoa. That's like, it's a waste height steps. I'm just imagining that. That's taller than my desk. <laughs> That's far too tall. I guess it might be climbing like a ladder. It doesn't look like you are. Okay, there's two here. This goes this way. And then there's some more very tall steps, and there's two advanced sections, I think. One there, one there. This has a lot of puzzles in it. I, I think I remember... Um, I think... Yeah, I think I remember hearing the... The, the full... The full DLC, parts one, two, and three, will be about three quarters of the whole game. The whole game was like 200 and something puzzles, right? So I'm expecting about 50, but it feels like I've seen more than 50 already. So who knows? What are these going to be? I feel like they're going to teach me something. Okay, so there's more water. Oh gosh. So if I can get something... Okay, so the issue here is going to be if I just nudge something along, it's going to be in the wrong space. So I want something that's like too long. Like, oh gosh, that's that's moving that way, I see. Um, what do I want? I want something that is, yeah, too long. Wait, if I just had like these two stuck together, stuck together like that and I put them in there, that would do exactly what I wanted to do, right? Yes, okay. 
can I achieve that? I guess I want that arrow to come out. I put it down, I do this, I push them into that. Done. Okay. What makes that difficult? Can I do uh, 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 uh? That, uh, I'm done, right? Am I done? I feel like I'm done. Okay, and because the force is there, I have to push this along. Uh, why? What? Why would I not be able to nudge that? That feels like a bug, right? That definitely feels like a bug. Why can I not match that along? There's nothing holding it in position. Look, which direction are the currents going there? Yeah, I'm just pushing it with the current. Inverted. I mean, <laughs> let's see if it makes sense. It makes any difference if I put that in the other way around. That would make no sense. No, I just can't push that. That's super weird. I'm going to assume it's because of the conflicting motions, but you'd think, well, they've cancelled out on the boxes and I'm adding additional motion. Like my, my motion should surely override that. In fact, I kind of expect the rightwards motion to be winning already. Because the, the downwards motion can't take it anywhere, so the rightwards motion is going to move it. Huh. I guess I can, can I like, drop it? No, I can't drop it any further over. Huh. Weird. Look at that box very much not being on the ground. <laughs> it's not noticeable from above, but... Okay, so... Apparently if it gets there, it's stuck. What if... I see. We want a shape like... Okay, got it, got it, got it. So where did the bottom arrow go? It was there. So we want a shape like... Not this. We'd want that arrow to be in the... Okay, so there's going to be one box on here with an arrow in the bottom of it. And we want that we want that box to also have the arrow in the top of it, I think. How am I going to make that work? This is what I did last time. Actually, no, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. We can do the same thing. Okay. We can then do this. I think this is going to be fine still. We can poke you in that. So the way we get past the fact that the, the water like movement is um, creating an ambiguous motion that can't be resolved is we put only one thing on the surface of the water in one space like this. And then it goes there. Cool. <clears throat> yeah, I think if I were programming the movement there, I would make it so that if something can't move it, it just, it says that there is no mo motion and therefore something else would win out. I think that's how it works in Convert Confusion. Yeah, it definitely did. Convert Confusion had <laughs> some of the most horrendous movement logic for some of the mechanics that come up later. Um, if you've not played it, go play it. It's great. Um, but yeah, like, the stuff that happens later in the game that just shouldn't be done <laughs> in any game. Uh, and it is done in Good Confusion, and it's the, the logic for it is horrendous. But a fairly non-ambiguous, unlike rotations. So it's not a rotation, I'll tell you that. Uh, anyway. Um... What are we doing? Uh, okay, so, okay. I, this is cool, I like this. So we're setting something on the water to go and hit the button, which will then fire the arrow, which will carry it the rest of the way. That is what we want. 
That feels relatively simple. We have an upwards arrow there. So I kind of feel like... Oh gosh, okay, so... Neither of the arrows will fire until something gets to that bit. Ooh, interesting. Very interesting. So we're going to put something on the water, it's going to slide along, it's going to hit that, both the arrows are going to fire. That is going to have to... I think I get it, I think I get it. So we're going to make a, like a, a pointy down L shape to put on the water. That's going to make the other one fire. And the point of that L shape is going to have the belongings in it. Yes. Okay. And we want to not lose this arrow in that process. So, um, how does one do that? Well, we would like that to fire. Wait, but no, the button's over there. I can't make the point down L shape until I've hit the button. Unless it's okay to sacrifice something. How many things do I think we need? What if we do this and I just sacrifice one? I mean, I'm going to get shots. Do I think it's at all feasible for me to... I guess I could be standing on top of that. I wanted the... I wanted this to get the arrow in the bottom of it. We do this. So I could be standing on this so it doesn't... Oh gosh, <laughs> no, it does lift up in that case. <laughs> I forgot. Okay, what? So, I can't stick anything together. Like the thing that is landing on the button can't be stuck together because the button is the thing that shoots the arrows out that allows me to stick stuff together. So something is sliding over there. I guess it's not gonna fall, is it? Oh, okay, but yeah, that's, that's the thing. So it's not gonna fall. Would I be able to get it back? Could I go and like reach over there somehow? Mm, unlikely, I think. Okay. Like it's just gonna end up on the button. But then that thing is going to be an obstacle that's going to hit the, the, the this thing at the back here. So I can put something on here, let's say it's just a single, it hits here. And I, I catch the arrows and use them for something. Then later on, I fire something across, that thing is going to hit this backstop, and then whatever's hit that is going to be here, and just fall down. Unless there's some weird arrangement I could make. So in fact, I might just go ahead with that. But I also need to figure out then, how do I... How do I not die? How do I catch the arrows? How do I do a lot of stuff, actually? Hmm. Alright, I'm back. Uh, what are we doing? We are... Yeah, trying to unravel this situation. Something's gonna slide along and hit that. But it can't be fastened. But like, why do I care about it being fastened? Can't I just... Like if you, like, I guess I want to know, like, where do you go? I guess this will stop me from getting hit, right? Ooh. Okay, so that did end up with the arrow inside of it. If I weren't in the way right now... Ah, ah, okay. So is there something I can do where... Put this here. And then use this one to climb up. Oh. And do this. However, this is just going to fly past, right? Oh no, it doesn't stop. Um, right, yeah, because it doesn't exert any force. So it's like I want that to be there. Like, this is definitely not the thing, but... And 
I also can't get something up there either. Or can I? If I do... Uh, this... <laughs> What's that doing? <laughs> Okay, we get friction there, but yeah, it's just not going to stop. Okay. I guess what I would like is to stick the, the upwards arrow into the bottom of the crate that's at the top right now, the too long crate. Therefore, you're going to want to be like here. While while like I can kind of do stuff, but not really. Well, hold on, hold on. If you were ah, <laughs> drop the thing. Uh, if you were there, and I went up with this and put it there. And did this, and then did that. How does that help me? What was I thinking? <laughs> Still dead. I guess I wanted something at this height. How's that going to happen? By having. Okay. Okay. I'm going to have this uh, on. This, this way round. I want to disassemble you. Okay, this way round. Walk up for the thing here. And we put one there. More moments. Apologies, I had a delivery. Um, okay, <laughs> again, what was I doing? I think I'm almost like done. Like, I want to do that, but I have a thing here. Can I get up there? Yeah, sure, I can go up this way. Right, and then I've got those two things stuck in, and I can set them up where I want them. Okay. However, that's on there now, so as soon as they go in the hole, there are going to be problems, but maybe that's fine. I'd kind of like to just, like, nudge you off. But then another one's just taking the space. Ugh. Oh, but maybe with all the arrows I've got. No, because we also want something to... F uh, no, I can't make a shape that goes all the way to the fire from the button. Right. What can I do? I'm going to put this down. But the shape that I was most sure that I would want to make at some point is the one where <laughs> no, not that although you never know I have to get everything out of the way <laughs> where's the thing? it's on that end uh... <laughs> Okay, how, how's this going to go? Like, if there's a block there, and I shoot something along, well, how's it going to stop? Well, hold on, no, 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 a, a certain shape could work here. Shoot something along. A shape that is like... But no, I'd have to use all the arrows then, it wouldn't get shot. Like, I was going to do like a weird shape that's like, extends in both axes, or all three axes, in fact. So that it hits here and it kind of goes like that. It's hard to draw, but so it ends up on there. But that would require three arrows. So instead, I would like to get rid of you. Because <laughs> if I just shoot something across, it's going to keep going. Unless I can make something hit the bottom of this. So that is the right height for that, right? Yeah. So how would that work? So this... Mm, what 
that work? Wait, maybe? Yeah, I think that could work. If we get this on top of this one. But not like that, like... Like that. But... Not that bad. <laughs> Okay, how do I just grab you from a different position? I do this, I do this, I do this, okay. So then, then I try and get you further away, so let's move you that way. Do this. Step back. Oh gosh, those arrows have intersected. <laughs> um, I just want to drop you there. <laughs> Maybe I grab you from the side instead, and then do this. No, that's not what I want. Go from the side instead and put this <laughs> not there here and do this. There we go. And we put the thing on top. This feels like it'll work. I feel like I'm not using things the way that might be intended. Right? Because then I'm gonna do this. Pick this up. And some oh. Maybe there's an issue. Is there an issue? Maybe not. If you're like here, I grab you from the other side without breaking the thing. Uh, I guess I can walk over. Um, Good there. Oh, you can't rotate into it. Hmm. Oh, that wouldn't even work anyway. Ah, gosh, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, just keep going over the top. Clearly I'm supposed to use that backstop. I'm being silly here. But that would mean having the, the belongings attached to something that's on the button, but it can't be. Unless I send along something. Oh, okay. I send along something. Okay, got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Go back a bit. Back to here, and then let's set this up the way I expected I would set it up, like that. And what we're gonna do is put you on. Should we put you in the thing? Uh, no. I think I want to do this. Okay, and then we just want to put this in the thing. Okay, that was allowed. There we go. Hooray! Okay, I had the better idea earlier on, and then just stopped doing it. <laughs> cool. That was those two. What else did we do today? The ones down here? Did I do all of them? Did I do those four, and then these two? Maybe. Maybe. Um, Okay, so that's there. Let's, let's take a peek forwards. We must be getting, like, if it's the number of puzzles is what I'm expecting, we must be getting close to where the... Ah. Okay, this might be the ending. Uh, yes, arrow upwards. Hold on. Should we do all the other puzzles before I do this? Nah, let's just do it. We're here, we're here. Uh, what, am, what am I doing? I guess like maybe I want to fly upwards, so drop something behind me. <laughs> I I have vague recollections that um, something like this was meant to be the ending of the original game, like the base game, where you go flying upwards into the air, but upwards arrows were removed, so it couldn't be done. Like all, I think all of the mechanics in all of the DLC parts are going to be mechanics that were removed from the base game. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. <laughs> do I go somewhere or do we just fly away? Achievement unlocked, there we go. Sign, Alan and Corey. Surrender production. Oh, is that the previous island? Didn't the previous island have like lots of buildings on it and stuff? Or maybe those are the islands. Gosh, this is a big island, I think. Maybe. Up of the clouds. Maybe the unity. To be continued in part two. Are we going to do something in the clouds? That would be fun. I 
fun way to continue it. <laughs> and then the box is fit. <laughs> Neat. Cool. Uh, let's go back in. So I guess now we have a good idea of like what's left. It's just going to be these two advanced places. And uh, that advanced place, although that's a multi-level advanced place, isn't it? Although that might be, yeah, I've done that one up there. So I think it's those two and this one. Yeah, this is kind of two. So basically four advanced things. I think, unless I've missed something. Uh, how many puzzles would that leave us at? Probably about, let's, let's say that's like, is that seven? That's seven. Plus... Walk through here. Seven plus... There's nothing over this side, right? No. Uh, five on there, 12 plus four. 16 more, so that takes us to 57. I wonder if that's the total or if I've missed something. All right, see you next time. We shall continue with some of these advanced puzzles. Goodbye.